All right, in this video, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to go through and construct or, or uh, design and draw uh, one of your truss uh, sides to, the, to your bridge. Now, again, your drawing is going to be a little different based on your design. Uh, just make sure, however, before you start this, that the length of your bridge needs to be 14 inches. The height can be anywhere from 2 to 3, and then the overall width of the bridge will be three inches and you'll see that come into play as I'm, I'm going through the example drawing here. Uh, before you start your drawing uh, make sure that you have all your thumbnail sketches completed you have your graph paper sketch you'll be using your graph paper sketch uh, as a, a template to help you go through the design work here in Inventor and also make sure that you have a, a good understanding of Inventor and the software itself you should be uh, through the practice drawings by now um, your eight practice drawings that you need to work through an inventor uh, those should be completed or at least uh, nearing completion uh, if not uh, just so you have a good idea of how to use some of the basic tools the line tool and things like that how to extrude and, and uh, um, items like that so uh, if you're ready to press forward that's what I'm gonna do in this video here so again pay attention follow along and uh, pause and rewatch things as you need to as you're uh, as you're trying to draw your own bridge. All right, first thing that you're going to need to do is open up Autodesk Inventor. So I'm going to open that up a while and you're going to create a new and standard IPT or part file. So we're going to go ahead and create that. Now remember Inventor is a 2D world initially and then we develop the, the, the uh, sketch into a 3D environment. So we need to open up our 2D environment initially. So I'm going to go to create a 2D sketch and I always like to select uh, at least with this particular drawing as we're going through this X Y plane right here. Uh, I'm going to select that one once uh, highlighted red and it brings us now into our 2D drawing mode. So with my bridge what I'm going to do is I'm just going to use the line tool to get started. I'm going to start at the origin right here that little dot. Uh, it's 0 for the X and 0 for the Y. I'm going to select that point and I'm going to take this line out at 14 inches. Okay. Just going to move this into position so I can see it. You can double click your center mouse button and zoom in or you can zoom in and out with that uh, center mouse button the scroll bar uh, so you can get a better idea. Alright. So with that being said, this is going to be the length of my bridge. Click my line tool. I'm going to find the midpoint of this line. The midpoint is going to be a green dot. You can see on the X it says 7 right there, so that is my midpoint. So I'm going to click on that, and my bridge has a height of 2.25, so it's 2 and a quarter inches high. So I'm going to put that in, 2.25, and the, the top of the bridge is 12 inches in length. So what I'm going to do from this center point right here is I'm going to go over 6 and I'll escape that and go back into my line tool and then 6 to the left and 6 to the right basically and then all I'm going to do is connect the dots. So I want to go to that end point I'm going to click a line and go to the bottom end point there. Okay, so basically we have the perimeter of the bridge, all right? So the outside perimeter of the bridge. And what we need to do is show some thickness because we can't just have a line here. Uh, we need to show thickness of the balsa wood. So when you physically build this, and you'll see as we render it um, how this comes together. But just like your graph paper sketch, it needs to have thickness. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you a new tool. And it's called offset it's under the modify panel so you click on the offset tool and I'm I'll zoom out here so you can see this so I click on the outside perimeter and I'm just gonna drag an offset of all those lines in alright and I'm just gonna kinda guesstimate right now where roughly an eighth of an eight inch is because that is the thickness of the material but this probably isn't an eighth so I need to give it a dimension I need to give it a constraint remember when you're working in Inventor when I dimension this 14 inches or 6 inches, 6 inches, 2 and a quarter, it constrains those lines to that. If you delete those out, uh, sometimes and uh, sometimes you work with this offset tool, it can throw things off for you because there's no more constraints associated to that drawing. So leave that stuff on. I know it's a little cumbersome. 
uh, but you can leave that on and I'll show you how to move some of them out of the way but uh, um, just for purposes of offset leave that stuff on so I'm gonna click on dimension now and I'm gonna dimension uh, the outer perimeter now the inner perimeter I'm gonna type in one eighth of an inch and now I have that nice eighth inch perimeter around here okay now you can really see the outside of the bridge coming together the center line what I'm gonna do with that center line select my line tool that with the center line what I want to do is from the center point I'm gonna go out a uh, half of a sixteenth or a half of an eighth which is one sixteenth and this is gonna be my center post for the outside of the bridge I'm gonna do the same thing to the other side so I went from the center point I'm gonna go over a sixteenth of an inch and I'm gonna come down hit that other point and now I have this nice center post and this is according to my design okay I'm gonna press escape I'm actually gonna take this uh, dimension and delete that out and some of these I'm just gonna move actually I'll delete that one out as well just to kinda clean some of this up and what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna from each of my posts based off of my drawing these all come out from the center I go an inch and a half so this is what I'm gonna do so from my center point I come out 1.5 then I come down okay and this is gonna be my very next line here so again I'll use my line tool I'm gonna come over an eighth of an inch and there's my next support I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. Again, from the center, I went out 1.5. I'll come down, straight vertical, come over another eighth of an inch. Okay, so you can see now I, I'm starting my supports in my bridge. Okay, and mine are spaced out about every inch and a half. Again, yours could be an inch, three quarters where you put your supports. It's really up to you and the materials. Uh, remember, you do have limited materials, but just continue to reference your, um, your graph paper. Now, I could continue to go through and make some supports through this, and I will do that eventually. But what I want to do is I want to put, I have some cross members going through here as well based off of my design. So I'm going to show you how to do that real quick. Just put those in. So what I do uh, with my particular design, I have them going from corner to corner, just like that. I'm going corner to corner. Again, I need to give these some thickness as well. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to that offset tool. I'm going to offset this line up and offset this line up. Okay, now you can see how they're intersecting and overlapping. That's not a big deal. I'm going to go to dimension, dimension the two. Again, the spacing is still an eighth of an inch. It's eighth inch material that you're using. Same thing with this one. Dimension it. It's an eighth inch. And these uh, lines that are overlapping, I'm going to use another tool called a trim tool. It's in modify. It's one that looks like a pair of scissors cutting through a line. I'm just going to clean this up basically I'm gonna trim these items out same thing down here I can trim those out and we're gonna use this tool a lot when we get near the end but I'm just gonna trim that out now you can see these supports really coming together okay what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go through I'm gonna put the video on pause and I'm gonna go through and you're gonna see it come back and it's all gonna be completely done and then I'll show you the next step all right Okay, so I'm back here, and I basically have the the bridge, the 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 truss, uh, all laid out with all the lines, all the angles, all the supports, and things are in there. All right, now it does get a little cumbersome with all these dimensions and things, and I still need to clean up a few things. Like, for example, I have these intersecting lines through here. I can trim those out. So I'm going to use my trim tool, and I want to make this basically one element like I know these supports are going to get glued together when I physically build this so I'm going to delete that construction line out of there and I'm going to do that through all these supports here and if you get an error like that because this dimensions tied to this 
So you can just delete that dimension out. And I'll just delete some of these as we go through this as that's going to pop out a few times. Um, and we're just going to continue to trim out and clean this all up. So it's going to be one flowing item here. So I'm just deleting out some of these dimensions when that error pops up. And it helps clean the design up. So you can see uh, we have these open areas. These will all get filled in then. You'll see when we extrude this. So I'm just going to go ahead and continue cleaning this up uh, and uh, making sure these are all open and then I'll get back to the video. Okay, and I'm back, and I'm looking at it, and most of these lines, oh, missed one right through here, we're going to delete that out. But basically everything, for the most part, is trimmed out, and this looks like one element through here. There's no line segments going through here, other than that last one I need to trim down here. Uh, it's symmetrical, which is a big thing. Here's that center post that deleted out the, uh, the remember that center line, that one of the first lines we drew through here. Uh, that's out of there. I have a couple dimensions still in here in regards to the constraints um, and you could put a few more on there if you remember the initial uh, height should have been two and a quarter which it still is um, so we have a couple constraints in there I'm going to show you the next step then and believe it or not this is the most difficult part is drawing the first truss all right everything else after that is fairly simple okay so if you thought this was a breeze and yeah and you had a uh, success with it. Uh, the rest of the uh, 3D rendering of your bridge is going to be very easy. All right. So once you're done with the actual drawing, you're going to click on Finish Sketch. So I'm going to finish that up, and I'm going to go into 3D mode now. So I'm going to go to 3D render mode. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on Extrude, which you should be familiar with, and we're going to extrude this out at one eighth of an inch, which is the thickness of the material. Now, if you did a nice job of deleting out all those line segments and things like that, you should get one big element that's uh, selected and all I have to do now is click on that because it looks like that it did it fine for me there and I'm gonna come out an eighth of an inch click OK and there we go we can start seeing that first truss uh, started and that's exactly what we want and basically the next step then is uh, part two of the series is going to be putting your supports that tie the two trusses together and then uh, making your second truss, which will be easy. It's basically a copy. And then putting a load platform and coloring it all. So uh, to be honest with you, this is a difficult part. Uh, if you have any questions, ask a classmate or ask your instructor if you're having issues or rewatch a portion of the video. Take your time and make sure it does resemble and look uh, very similar to what your, your graph paper sketches. That is a requirement. All right. If you have any questions, um, feel free to ask. And that's it for part one.